our next speaker is going to light up the stage even more because he has got some great stuff for you. So let's welcome up Mr. s &M himself, sensational and marvelous, who's going to be talking about his wonderful journey to become an author, Stan McCloskey. Come on up, Stan. Thank you, Dominique Brightman, Mr. AKA Going North Podcast. Where's your book? I was at a Toastmasters event when Charlene Day asked me that question. I replied, I don't have a book. I'm no author. She then pointed her finger at me and said, everyone has a book inside of them. No excuses. At that moment, she planted the seed for my book. She kick-started my journey to bring out my greatness as an author. Several months later, fellow Toastmaster Karen asked, do you have a title for your book? Expecting her to laugh, I said, yes. The title for my book is Divorce is Worse Than Death. To my surprise, she responded immediately with an enthusiastic, do it, I love it. She didn't just sprinkle water on my planted seed. She poured miracle grow on my seed. What was this seed? Years before, without me realizing it, I had been given a seed for a book, but the ground was not ready. A divorced friend had uttered the phrase, divorce is worse than death. She then went on to explain, see Stan, losing your spouse through divorce is worse than death. See in death, you don't have to worry about seeing your lifelong best friend having dinner at your favorite restaurant with your ex-husband. That hurt. During my life, I had found out that the phrase divorce is worse than death rang true for many, including myself. When talking to someone who was experiencing divorce, they often seemed to be depressed. But when I shared the phrase divorce is worse than death, they cheered up as if someone finally understood their pain. The garden had been planted. I wanted to share my story and make a difference. I began working on my book, but quickly realized that I lacked the skills to cultivate the garden into a harvest. I'm no gardener. Matter of fact, I kill everything except weeds. And my book, was starting to look like a harvest of weeds. I was discouraged. But that all changed when I hired fellow Toastmaster, Michelle Chenoweth, to be the gardener for my book. As my coach and mentor, she helped me grow a seed into a book that was worthy to be harvested and shared with others. Nurturing an idea from a small seed into a finished product is not easy. I took risk. I put myself out there to be criticized. But it paid off. It was worth it. Tonight, I join you and I continue my journey to bring out my inner greatness as an author with the help of fellow Toastmaster, Dr. Hasib, and this conference. I challenge you to dig deep, find your seed, and bring out your inner greatness as an author. To make this happen, I encourage you to surround yourself with people like Toastmasters, 
who will not only buy into your dream, but will help you cultivate and transform the dream into reality and help you find that book that's inside of you. It worked for me. Here's my book. Now my question to you is, where's your book? No excuses.